Before the pandemic, schools, arts, and music programs struggled to hang on. And now that many schools are remote, some are using virtual programs that, for many, hits the right note. Take a look. That is pianist Michelle Can, one of the many professional musicians who works with CultureNet. It's a platform that offers streaming concerts and content, as well as interactive music lessons. David Donnelly is the co-founder of CultureNet, and he is with us now to talk about how it can help students continue their arts education at a time when you can't get the band together. Uh, so I guess, David, that, <laughs> what a great idea. I mean, but what inspired you to launch CultureNet? So actually, uh, my daughter, who's five years old, was talking to her grandparents. And even though they were miles away, uh, they actually had uh, somewhat of an amazing connection still. And it was a way for them to still talk. And I thought uh, how amazing it was that it's never going to substitute for real time together. But yet it's also still a way to, 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 to keep contact. At the same time, we were doing a lot of concerts. And we thought, well, why can't we apply this to, to classical music concerts? And so we did our first pilot. Uh, last September. So I think this is really fascinating. Uh, I have a nine-year-old who had been taking piano lessons, and uh, then once the pandemic hit, sort of hit a bump there. We did do Zoom piano lessons. It required, you know, uh, several laptops, several Zooms, <laughs> so that we could point one at her yep. fingers while she was playing, and another one with the teacher looking at her. It was, uh, it was quite an endeavor. But what's really interesting about what you offer as well are um, not just the live classes, but also pre-recorded videos where professional musicians teach music concepts. I want to play a little bit of that. Its relatives are the viola, cello, and bass. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. I make the sound by pulling the string with the bow. Can you talk about just why having access to this type of content is important for students and what, what benefit they get out of it? Well, unfortunately, the arts are one of the first things that gets cut. And you can imagine how this pandemic has impacted the arts as a whole. Um, but I think right now, given how much uncertainty there is in the world, uh, I think that it's really important for the mental health uh, of, of students uh, and also, you know, just, just people in general to still have exposure to the arts and also use this opportunity to explore new things. And what's cool about our platform is that that clip that you just saw, um, the live sessions are actually connected to the pre-recorded content. And so we've got some amazing stuff that people can watch and then you can interact with them live. So that's what I think is really kind of interesting um, because, you know, I play the guitar and because of the pandemic, my I used to go in person to see my guitar teacher. Not able to do that anymore. We do, as Anne-Marie has said with her daughter, we do some Zoom lessons. But what if I wanted to take a class on music theory? Um, walk us through how the remote lessons are conducted. Are they one-on-one? -on -one? Are they with other people virtually across the country? Um, how does it work? So we have a variety of things. Uh, number one, we've got uh, an amazing library of performances and narrative-driven digital content. So you can actually learn the story behind some of the best musicians in the world. And then we've got things that are more educational in nature, like the clip that you just showed. Uh, and then we've got a lot of amazing live concerts that you can watch for free. For example, we've got a Thanksgiving theme concert this Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Anybody can tune in. It's family friendly. And you can get a sense of how we have uh, a blend of education and entertainment that is perfect for a time right now when, when so many people are stuck inside. A lot of your content features classical music. Why focus on that genre? Uh, for the past 10 years, I've been uh, a filmmaker that's uh, been covering uh, the, the world of classical music. Uh, we filmed in uh, 25 countries across the globe, and it just uh, was a great starting point for something that I know that has an amazing uh, benefits to people. Uh, it can enrich people's lives. Uh, and most importantly, it has the ability to inspire. Um, but a lot of people have found it intimidating in the past. And I think what CultureNet does is it is an amazing opportunity to learn this in a, in a very cool, non-intimidating way. 
So I want to show a clip of Michelle Can, who we saw earlier. Uh, and I was just saying to our floor director here, who also plays the guitar, it's so frustrating to watch somebody who's so talented at playing their instrument because it just makes you realize how lacking I am. <laughs> Let me play a clip of her talking about her musical education. When I actually attended college for the first time, and one of the things that I was asked was, first of all, oh, are you here as a singer? Are you here as a vocalist? And I thought about it, and I, and I knew why a lot of people were asking me this, because I'm a black woman, young black woman, and so there was a certain assumption, well, I must sing. It was, in a way, harmless. I don't think that people were trying to offend me, but I found a certain amount of offense because I thought about that, like, why assume that that's all I can do? As a young black female, I can do whatever I want to do, <laughs> and I can do it well. So tell us more about what students have gotten out of these interactions with these real life performers and hearing their stories. Um, so Michelle is, a, is an amazing musician. Um, she graduated from Curtis Institute of Music, which is one of the most prominent schools uh, the stories behind the, the the musicians, I believe, is in, is a great way to to really learn about something because it makes you curious. So, what better way to to stimulate curiosity than through a narrative-driven structure, and then pair that with an opportunity to actually ask that person questions and to learn about them? And Michelle is just a, one example of the, an amazing uh, roster of renowned artists from across the globe that we have, and this is an opportunity to actually you know pick their brain. And, and communicate with people that, um, that, that otherwise might, be, might feel very kind of inaccessible. So David, give us the basics though. How much does this cost? What do you get for what you pay for? Uh, for schools right now, we are offering customized packages based upon the needs of the educators. Uh, we're fully aware right now, teachers are completely overwhelmed with everything that's going on. And every school has a different need, whether it's a big school, a smaller school, whether they have a music program, don't have a music program, what we do is, is we craft customized packages to solve the problem that educators are having right now and to try to find the best way to inspire their kids. Um, so packages uh, are going to range in price from $9.95 uh, and above. We've got multiple pricing packages right now for schools that might not be able to, uh, to, to have that in their budget. We also work with a number of nonprofit foundations to try to get the arts uh, back in the schools as, in, in as many places as possible. Um, but we're not just limiting this to schools. It's also available to homeschoolers, and it's also available to, to, to students, to anybody that wants to learn. Uh, at MyCultureNet.com, you can subscribe right now. We've got an amazing special for an annual subscription. David, real quick before I let you go, um, to the point about uh, the, the teachers and the expertise, one of the things that I've always found is you can run across and meet incredible musicians, but they're not always the best teachers. Uh, sometimes people need to actually know how to teach young people, how to teach older people who are trying to learn an instrument or want to further their skills on an instrument. So where do you draw from? Who are these? I, I get that some of them are, are musicians who make their living playing music, but are any of them or most of them or some of them also accredited teachers? Uh, most of the, the people that we work with have been teaching either uh, privately or they have done it because they're passionate, they want to connect with younger people. Um, but the majority of our musicians are actually professional musicians who perform at the most esteemed venues across the globe. Um, and what they're doing is CultureNet provides them an opportunity to share their passion with a lot of people because it's virtual. They can connect with classrooms uh, all over the world uh, in a handful of, of hours. They can go to multiple classrooms in a single morning, whereas before there were so many logistical hurdles that were associated with that. All right. Uh, and you, do you mostly have adults or do you mostly have kids? Uh, for the teachers, uh, I'm sorry, what was the so question? So the, the majority of your, I mean, I'm looking at your website right now. It seems that it's geared towards young people. Yes, uh, the, the, it is mostly geared towards, towards young people. Uh, but at the same time, I think that if you're an adult and you're curious about classical music and you want to learn more about it, then we have uh, an amazing library of, of content and performances that can really just start to uh, open your mind and so that you can become curious uh, and learn in your own way, on your own schedule, through the power of story, uh, and just kind of explore uh, the amazing content that we have. Very, very cool. David Donnelly from CultureNet, thank you very much.
Thank you so much for having me.